Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 14th of June, 1777, the Second Continental Congress passed the so called Flag Resolution and adopted the Stars and Stripes as the flag of the United States. The day is now celebrated in America as Flag Day, which was first proclaimed by President Woodrow Wilson in 1916, although it's not an official federal holiday. The Flag Resolution stated some general parameters for the appearance of the American flag. Specifically, it said that there should be 13 alternate red and white stripes and a group of white stars against a blue background. However, it didn't specify a precise arrangement of stripes and stars. Consequently, a range of different designs, all of which met the very broad definition, were produced. Of these, the so-called Betsy Ross flag, which has the stars arranged in a circle, is probably the most famous. The design of the American flag has changed numerous times during its history to reflect the admission of more states into the Union. However, in 1818, Congress approved the Flag Act that specified that there should always be 13 stripes to represent the original 13 colonies that broke away from British rule, and that there should be the same number of stars as there are states. Consequently, the 50 stars on the current flag first appeared after Hawaii joined the United States in 1959. The flag, about which the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, was written, is not the same design as the one in use today. That was instead a 15-star, 15-stripe flag flown at Fort McHenry in Baltimore Harbour during a bombardment by the British Royal Navy ships during the War of 1812.